At first, researchers thought people who had type O blood were less likely to get COVID-19, but then other studies said that wasn't true. Either way, News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen found out some labs are reporting a renewed interest in people wanting to know their blood types during the pandemic. At Vanderbilt, Dr. Garrett Booth has been busy researching COVID-19. He's looking into convalescent plasma treatment in addition to COVID-19's connection with autoimmune diseases. But coronavirus is a sticky wicket and a lot of things that normally occur with the seasonal uh, colds are not happening with coronavirus, including the very obvious increased morbidity and mortality. Dr. Boo says he's aware of the studies that reveal some people with O blood types are less likely to get COVID-19. However, there are other studies that say that's not the case. It can be maddening for physicians, for scientists, and for the lay public alike to hear competing narratives within the medical literature. That, I, I would say the takeaway from that is that's how science is, is done. That's how the sausage gets made. There is no one definitive study that knocks it out of the ballpark. What's clear is people with all blood types can get COVID-19. As of today, the most important takeaway is there's no clinical utility in knowing your blood type and determining risk of acquisition or spread of coronavirus. At any lab test now, they're seeing an uptick in people wanting to know their blood types right now. I talked to a spokesperson with the American Red Cross, and they said when people come in to donate blood, a lot of them are curious if they have COVID-19 antibodies. At the end of the day, more research needs to be done. So this is just something that we're going to continue to build and learn on. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.